Hello and welcome to Norfolk Air Guns. Little video today, lock me up to. Well, we've got pellets, we've got a resizer, and we've got some scales. Head into the intro and have a goosey. So in today's video, slightly wonky, um, let's just adjust that, that's better. What we are going to be doing is resizing some pellets and weight of sorting some pellets with my scales. Um, now this is for HFT which is coming up, the national starts around the corner um, and for the LG400 it likes H&M Barracuda FTs in 450. So that's what we're doing. Uh, so first of all, let's get the scales out of the way. What we want to do is get our pellet sizer. So this is a uh, gun tough one in that way. 450, if you could work that out. So what you do, you should put your pellet in the end, this end here. You get your jabby jabby pokey pokey, and you do that. And what that does is it reshapes the skirt into making sure it's a 450. So I put that in again, there'll be nowhere near as much resistance, straight through. So I'll do a time lapse of me doing 10, and then we can see how fast we go. So, normal speed, what goes on. So, get my pellet, check the skirt, stick it in the end, in there now, get your probe and probe, there it comes. So, now we've done a few, oh, it's time to weigh. Now, the little knee says they should be 957 grain. Focuses. Anyway, 957. So I use a brick fit scale, really nice and light and sensitive, and they also do it in grain. So I turn it on, and then so I've got lids and pots for different sizes. So I have anything in the correct size, so anything within the 959 to 950 or have, I have too heavy so anything over i'll probably say for me i normally go up to six nine maximum anything over six nine anything under five zero and then just duff pellets as you go through so i've got it all set up already take the pellet stick it on so that's a nine six four so i'll put that in there get another one Nine six eight, so it's a six size. Tear. Nine five eight. Oh, still fiddling. Nine five six. So put that in the number five pot. Nine six two. Too heavy. Put that in that pot. So I'll show you from this point of view. So I did another couple just so you can see. So take your pellet, stick it on the scale, 970. So that's too heavy. That goes in the heavy pot. Grab another one. 968. So that's in the six zones in there. 968 again into the sixes. Just that's too heavy. 974. Too heavy. 
So what will happen is I will eventually go through the whole tin. It takes a while, but I get there. And then whichever one I have the most of said size is the pellet I will use. So I will zero with that size and I will shoot with that size until it changes. And then it will change to the next size. So after all of that, turn it down to the final pellet. There we are. Seven nine six two. So that's 150 pellets weighed out. Shockingly, a bit of size order. So for pellets that were supposed to be nine five seven we're slowly on the wonk again aren't we yes we are so for pellets that were supposed to be nine five sevens that was what was in the nine five range that was what was in the nine seven range <coughs> all of them are nine sixes so it's looking for the foreseeable view for a little while sorry foreseeable future for a little while i'll be shooting nine sixes to start with um, so all that's left for me next to do is to transfer these out of that back into one of their normal tins as well as repack my pellet mates happy days so now I have all the pellets ready to go what I will do is I have two different types of pellet holder I actually have three think of it so I have this snappy mate pellet pal or pellet mate as they call now we'll use this for practicing, um, just so I can leave it in front of me with the floor open, uh, on the floor opened up. Um, and what it is, turn these off, is you get these three foam mats, as you can see, and they all hold, I can't remember how many it was, quite a few. There's only three missing from that one. You get quite a lot in each one and you get three foam inserts for each one. So I will stick them in there like that and like that now for when I'm actually on the course I'll use a pellet pouch I don't have mine on me I don't know why I did that because I'm not wearing it it's in my shooting bag in the car um, and I also have a plastic one um, that's longer and slimmer from Ratworks they sell one as well these are useful for practice they are good for the course but I just find the neck pouch easier for me um, on the course so that is my way of sizing and weighing out pellets 500 at a time to make life easier not really and going from there so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys very soon bye bye for now